And guys, we're on our way back. We have done the first third. These long trips we normally, these long trips we normally um, break our journey in thirds. This is the first third. We're going to do now the halfway mark. It's 102 kilometers. It's actually the longest part of the road, but half of it is on highway. And the other half is mountain pass. So yeah, we've got to take it easy. Chill. Okay. Okay. You got I don't need to be as. Okay. So you understand what I'm trying to say? I can't really see traffic on that side. Come in. Okay, come over here. Good. Strapping on my armor, patching down my shield Sometimes we yearn to conquer Sometimes we learn to yield The relentless raging river Blood. 
bong neng bong Now that bit of music was from uh, Bill Knight uh, that we had listened to in Stanford on that uh, on the one evening, which was quite a very pleasant, um, very pleasant music he produces. Uh, really um, laid back. It's really the kind of music I actually like, the the laid back music. Yeah, and um, basically cut the story short here this song actually makes me think about uh, things that um, that just seems to be disappearing slowly but surely as we travel to these um, smaller towns um, all these big buildings with big churches and um, nice little hotels like the Royal Hotel every town in South Africa once at a stage to me had a hotel called the Royal Hotel basically and yeah they stay few and far between nowadays and um, those are things that I think um, the new generation of kids will never know because they the kids today are growing up in um, new churches where they don't it's basically just an hall or a or a something else that they go to it's not a it's not this um, massive like church buildings like in the past which are really iconic buildings for any town and then the hotels again you know that's um, the guest house and stuff are all taken over to where the hotels are slowly but surely disappearing from all the major towns on the outskirts especially on the outskirts of um, the bigger cities um, you find that all these little hotels have started to disappear because it's not um, viable for them anymore to to continue with business and those are things that the song actually makes me think of in a way it's like all the things that are disappearing that we don't see nowadays yes and firstly i'd want to thank uh, bill knight um which i actually what up him once I got back to Oatsworin and he watched us what stopped me the some of these uh, uh, original music which he said um, we could use on our, our vlogs um, with the mention of, of his name and so on and share it with our friends and um, yeah and I'm sure you guys can look him up it's 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 different it's not it's not like uh, rock pop music it's just laid back music very nice to listen to and yes i'd like to say thank you to him and his partner for making uh, our weekend very special in stanford and uh, yes it would be very nice to hear from everyone here that watches these channels that actually want to comment on um, stuff like these church buildings that are disappearing and how you feel about them and uh, the hotels itself um, because um Everyone has their own opinion, and uh, yeah, some people say I'm more of an old timer, and I mean I'm not super religious or anything like that. But I just, um, but for me, it's just very, um, very. Um, it stands out. Like in little towns, you can go see in all our older videos. Um, you, there's always like a massive church or a massive church building they're standing most of them are still in service but they are um, standing empty in most cases and uh, and i just sit and wonder will these buildings be standing there in about two three hundred years time um which is which i've got a feeling they won't in in a way because um the way we just breaking down and rebuilding and breaking down it's like um from the past, the uh, pyramids, uh, the Incas, all those little structures that have also just crumbled up after centuries of just standing around, which is like actually masterpieces of of work, in, including these church buildings that we have in South Africa. They, they, it, 
the architecture that went to it is like remarkable. Re really, really, for me, it's remarkable and it's a standout feature and it's actually, um, it's actually um, something to do, like in the sense for me, like um, uh, praise to the religion that the people are praying to, and uh, you know that's a, like a it's 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 built in honor of God. And uh, yes, it's, it's like I said, it's beautiful buildings, and I will miss this. Um, I will miss this, maybe. Not as much as what my kids that that. And their kids, they won't, I don't think they'll actually be able to experience some of these buildings that we drive through and then we stand in awe looking at them. So yeah, um, if uh, I'd, like I said to you guys, must my comment and tell me how you guys feel, but I mean, I would love the people just to preserve, preserve these buildings and in some cases I would say these all these new religions that crop up like you know I call them uh, the Happy Clappy Church or the Bikers Church or whatever church it is um, maybe they can come to a compromise with these old church buildings that are even if it's in a further tough in another town away from the towns that you are like for instance a Bikers Church you can actually maybe arrange with the people to actually use the building for a congregation on a Sunday or something like that instead of having these buildings just standing empty they houses of worship and it doesn't matter what you worship or how you worship in there is if they're getting used for the right purpose it's it's actually will will actually make these buildings stand out again for in in that sense like i mean okay so the building was used a uh, hundred years ago by the india church or by the roman catholic church and then uh, the next 50 years it got used by this church or this 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 thing and that thing uh, i just feel that we should do something with these buildings and preserve is the main thing And with that, that was like our ride back home to Oatser and from our weekend in Amanus and Stanford. And our drive out of Riversdale towards Swellendam. And I will leave you guys here halfway through the trip. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And yes, it's uh, there's nothing much happening on the video, but it's just uh, besides what I've talked about, the scenery around us is always breathtaking. It's just, it doesn't matter if it's a hot day, a rainy day, it's just breathtaking and South Africa is a beautiful country and I am very glad I live here. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys on the next video. Most probably we'll only produce the next video, most probably in two, three weeks time as um, the school holidays are coming up. We're expecting our grandkids uh, we've picked up our camper after it's been in for a bit of a renovation so maybe in the next video we'll do a bit of camping and so on or once the or we'll show you a video with what we did with the kids and then after that again a bike trip or two because we're planning to go into the um, Karoo again um, to that uh, to those areas one of the areas that we wanted to go to is clip lot and we want to include that this year on one of our trips depending on the weather we've had a tremendous amount of rain as i speak and uh, i can just imagine how some of those gravel roads are looking which makes it quite difficult to travel on but yes uh, stay tuned and we will be we will keep we will be um, putting out more videos as time comes along and again, thanks for watching and stick with us.